Hey guys, this is Long Productions again on the 4673 and I am back in Nameless, the one thing you must recall, or the only thing you must recall, I can't remember, uh, part 3, and yeah, let's go. Now that I think about it, yeah, the school nurse was looking for you. W what? All oh, right, he said that you should stop by the infirmary. What? Thanks for telling me so quickly. <laughs> now, Biggie, Miss Health uh, coming in, sir. Have uh, have a safe trip. I wish you good luck. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you. I stood up weakly. Ah. <sighs> As I walk, uh, as I walked, drowned in my thoughts, I quickly arrived in front of the infirmary. I should listen to Sora and stop staring at nothing. I tapped over for my cheeks with my hands. You look for. Oh, hello. Oh, bitches! How. Be uh, look at that beautiful fourth perfect prince. I don't even. Want to read this up in a creepy voice? Oh, Beatrice, how can you be this enchanting? There's not, there cannot be another woman more beautiful than you. <laughs> the handsome guy was embracing a skeleton model and uh, ardently confessing his love in the morning. He's so good looking, what a shame! <laughs> There are more than a few people who are blessed with good looks, but miserably fail at using them. Why would others think uh, like this of me playing? Uh, what would others think like this of me playing with dolls? Let's make sure no one knows. My belief that uh, that's my belief that some hobby should remain a secret was not wrong. Mister Eugene, I heard I heard you asked for me. Who looked at me with bitter eyes for interrupting their private quali quality time? He looks he looks dandy at o as always. Just the looks. Um. Oh, a student. I asked for you some time ago. Now you're here, and now here you are. He had asked me to run around that uh, often, but still doesn't know my name. He doesn't know the name of most kids. Oh, but he did seem to remember Soy and Shinbi na Shinbi's names. Hmm. Probably because they're pretty. Of course, his idea of idea of beauty is a bit different from those others. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Hmm. Well, all right. Move that guy to the prep room. He pointed at the upper body. Uh, at ana anatomy is <laughs> something anatomy something like that. A uh, model he frequently used during classes. His name was, I think, Christopher. Uh, whenever I ran around, he often told me all kinds of stories. One of them was about Christopher. Christopher is apparently Beatrice's half brother. Mr. Eugene is uh, Eugene, so I'm just annoyed with him. But he takes care of him because Beatrice adores him. Such a tear-jerking story. <sighs> I don't think I can carry this alone. Although the model is just the upper body, it was too heavy for a girl to carry alone. And <laughs> I picked up the model in a quite unattractive pose. He didn't give me a single glance despite me struggling to pick it up. W well, Mr. You Dream, <laughs> I'll be heading out. Oh, Beatrice, how can you have such a, such beautiful shoulder bone blades? How can you seduce me like this? I already adore every single particle of you. Oh god. I should close the door when I head out. <laughs> Some kids who were passing uh, passing uh, by heard his voice through the, the open door and started whispering. Some argued that it didn't matter because he looked cute. If I'm not, uh, if I'm not to ruin my life with just uh, one choice, what? If I'm not to ruin my life with one choice, I would quit thinking like that. Someone, el uh, someone else said that he's too creepy and asked if he's not crazy. Hmm, I agree. Ugh, heavy. 
Christopher, I mean, this model was indeed too heavy for a girl to carry. The only reason why I managed to carry it is because my trained arm muscles used to be car uh, carry. I used to carrying two kilogram uh, dolls every day. And so many boys uh, passed by, but no one even looks. No one notices notices me because I'm too ordinary anyways. Things would be different for Soy and Shinbi. Soy would have shoved the boys around like a queen. And for Shinbi, girls would have volunteered to help. <laughs> I smirked uh, at imagining and all that. I don't feel, really feel bitter though. I agreed too that their looks, are, uh, uh, looks attract people. Oh no, recess will be over soon. I should hurry up. I'm here. Guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm tired. I throw myself into the sofa without even taking my uniform off. As I bury myself in the comfy sofa, I felt as if uh, all my sore muscles were screaming. God, my shoulders! Tomorrow I'm definitely not going, uh, going even if you, you, Mr. Eugene asked for me. All I do is suffer. I turned around on the sofa. As usual, as, as usual, I, stared, I blankly stared at the ceiling. There's so much uh, uh, to do, but I don't even want to move a finger. I have to take out the trash and wash my uniform, but I don't want to move at all. I overworked myself today. I ran in the morning so I wouldn't be late, I carried around a heavy model, and I even survived that hellish cafeteria during lunch. I just want to rest and sleep like this. But the list of choice uh, kept swimming in my head, so I just couldn't stay still. Uh, I can't just lie down like this. Let's finish cleaning quickly, then lie down. I gathered my sluggish strength and stood up. This house Grandpa left me was way too big for me to live by myself. An educator and a book lover, an educator and a book lover, Grandpa had many books. He moved to larger and larger houses to keep all those books, and eventually settled down in this mansion. When Grandma was alive, they often fought over those books. I never saw all the, uh, even I never saw all the books in the house, and there were rooms I couldn't even enter because of them. Thanks to them, cleaning was always always difficult, but I've no intention of throwing them away. Even if Grandpa passed away, since his memories are in those books, they're precious to me as well. Shall we start with the living room? I took off uh, my uniform and got the vacuum cleaner. Huh? Was someone? Uh, was someone expected? Who is it? Delivery. Delivery. Oh, I was expecting something. Thank you. As soon as I got the package, I headed to my room. Yay, I've been waiting for a long time. In the box uh, was a splendid handmade suit and a pair of black boots. They were no bigger than my hands, but they were in, uh, intricate as those, human, those of humans. Hmm, I can always clean later. <laughs> Dolls, doll fans have different pri priorities like from normal people. If you buy something new, you naturally have to set everything else aside and try it on the do on the doll and take pictures. I laid in, I laid the, uh, down the doll from the shelf and tried this and that on it, on them. Pretty as expected, the wig was worth it. The room quickly turns into a mess while I dressed the dolls into uh, into pretty clothes. Gross. I forgot that I had been cleaning just a while ago. I drown in my own thoughts as I look around the room full of uh, doll props. Other people will find it strange that I play with dolls even though I'm not a child. Um, if they if they see a grown up student still collecting dolls, they'll think she's a something. And if they find out that the dolls are quite expensive, they'll think it's even more bizarre. But I don't think I'm weird. So I have no desire to be understood by others. Sometimes it gets a little bit uncomfortable and lonely, but I do have much, have much, but I don't have much problem with making excuses like now. But if there's one thing that bothers me, it's not being able to tell my friends. Saw so him, Shimbi would never guess this side of me. 
I thought the, uh, of the friends who were always by my side. I put the dolls on the shelf and put up my head on the bed. Hey guys, if I tell Soy and Shimbi the truth, what would they say? The dolls silently looked at me. <laughs> well, I've gotten this far. In, uh, I've gotten this far, anyways. All I can do is keep up like this. I stretch as far as I can and propose to shake off all the worries. After st stretching my muscles, I suddenly feel the fat fatigue flute over me. I have to finish cleaning. Uh, it's too loud. I can't unconsciously group the alarm clock by the bed. It's 5 a.m. It was long before uh, before the alarm alarm rang. I must have fell asleep. I slowly got up from the bed. Uh, I must have really overworked my body yesterday. My shoulders still hurt. I felt stiffer than usual for waking up early. So noisy in the morning. <sighs> Should I sleep more? Anyways, is there construction going around the house? Why is it so noisy today? What? Wait, this sound is coming from the kitchen? Ugh, so hungry. I'm about to starve and die. I'm going to die before I can save the world. You're hungry too, aren't you? Oh, I yes, a, a little. Uh, hey, can we just get something delivered? I'll get the cash from that fellow's wallet. I saw that something that looked uh, really good on TV before. I think it's called Jet Jang. Could you please be quiet? Uh, could, uh, do, uh, do you want to show off how rude you are? Taking the wallet, you're no different from a thief. What? Punk? A thief? Did you just call the Justice Warrior a thief? L look, if you talk too loud, Master will... He's calling me a thief! Hey, hey, you listen, I only said that I'll take money, not steal it. They're the same. What is the difference? They're, uh, they are different. From the start, she said she liked to buy us things. Shh, shh, you're barely talking too loud. Master is going to wake up. She already looked t tired last night. Yeah, both of you stop screaming in my ears. I have a low b blood pressure, and I don't want delivery food. My skin is sensitive, and I, uh, and I don't want, uh, and I have to watch what I eat. So Tay, <laughs> so Tay, a home meal for me, please. It seems that I've naturally become the cook. Well, okay, but first talk after you've peeled off that facial mask. She already looks surprised. She already looks surprised. A man. Uh, in an opera called Tay, raises the ladle and points at me. She turned paler after seeing your face with that facial mask, Yuri. All turned on me at once. So, so, what is happening right now? <laughs> the man in the opera and uh, bandana ho uh, holding a ladle looks like Tay. Frowning man sitting on the table with his finger uh, on his forehead looks uh, like a carbon copy of Lance. The young man scratching his back of his head with an apologetic face had the same hair color as red. And the one calmly sitting at the table, two hands gathered on his knees, had Ian Ho's eyes. The tall one smoothing out the facial mask on his face. Is that really Yuri? But wait, isn't that hairband mine? <laughs> Oh god, that's good. Um, yeah. Oh, master, I apologize. We were a bit noisy just now, weren't we? The kid looked like uh, Yan. The kid who looked like Yan and I made eye contact. What, M master? He's right. Uh, Red and Lance. Uh, be sorry. It's going to take a while to cook the food. Won't you sit here? Uh, since you've woke, since you've woken up. What did I do? He's the one who started the fight. He won't even let me wake that fellow up, backing me up for every single tiny thing. Alright, I have to end the episode here. <laughs> this is fun. Um, I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.